Energy Web is a nonprofit that uses Web3 technology to solve decarbonization problems that utilities and other companies are facing. My name is Amy Westervelt, and I'm the Regional Director for Energy Web for the Americas. I manage our activity in the United States, Canada, and Latin America. Um, one large area of activity that we've been working within in the U.S. is helping utilities coordinate their demand-side management programs. So, um, concretely, this summer, uh, we'll see the launch of our newly enhanced flex alert solution for California, which will help KISO, the market operator, um, balance demand in times of stress on the grid. So, um, in the U.S. in particular, we work uh, primarily with two types of customers. One is utilities, um, who are mostly interested in using our technology to manage demand-side management programs. Uh, and the other is with companies that want to run markets for new types of green commodities. Um, so, in the first example, one project that we have launching this summer is our work with KISO, the California market operator. Um, and we have built a newly enhanced flex alert solution for them that will allow them to more effectively manage customer demand, demand in um, grid emergencies, uh, like has happened in the past couple summers with widespread wildfires. Um, the other category of uh, customers that we're working with are customers that want to build highly scalable, highly transparent platforms uh, for green commodities like aviation fuel, like 24-7 electricity attribute certificates, um, and that type of thing. In the U.S., um, I see a really exciting opportunity for us to power emergency load response management programs like what we are doing right now with KISO in California. Um, the impetus for us working with them was uh, California is experiencing many more extreme weather events and grid emergencies than it used to in years past, and we're seeing other states follow suit with that now. Um, I think Oregon is rolling out a similar program. We've seen grid emergencies in Texas. Uh, with you know, unforeseen weather conditions. So I think that that application is really promising because we have an urgent need to work with market operators and utilities to coordinate customer responses um, in a way that, that, that works tomorrow, not in five years. And I think our technology can be really good for that. In five years, I see Energy Web as being a really key ingredient in not only helping customers unlock value from having distributed energy resources like electric vehicles, uh, residential solar, um, but really helping utilities and grid operators meet their decarbonization goals by coordinating all those assets so that we can um, use them in an effective way overall. Um, I also see us playing a really key role in the emerging demands for ESG solutions uh, among large corporations, cities, governments, uh, with providing you know, transparent, scalable technology that really helps companies roll up information about the carbon attributes of their purchases uh, into their over overall ESG portfolio. Um, in the U.S. in particular, I think we can play a huge role in accelerating uh, electrification of transportation. Um, I think if we can provide utilities, grid operators, OEMs with tools that they can use to help customers unlock greater value from owning electric vehicles, that'll really go a long way uh, towards incentivizing the sort of change and uh, adoption that we need to see.